What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another hair product review and this week in light of the news that uh, Mike over at Modern Man TV and the Lockharts are releasing a fresh batch of it, we're here to talk about Nevermore Matte Paste. So obviously I've had my jar of Nevermore from the first release and this was just something that I never got around to reviewing because by the time I was ready to review it, it had already completely sold out. It was a limited batch. I didn't know if it was coming back, so I just didn't get to it. Um, but now that uh, Mike and Lockhart's dropped the news that the demand was there, they are bringing it back for a second round. I thought this was the perfect time for me to finally do the review of this. So if you are thinking about buying it, hopefully this review will help you out. So let's get started. So packaging first, and I'm gonna say right off the bat, I fucking love the packaging on this. So it is the standard 3.7 ounce amber plastic Lockhart's jar with the black aluminum lid, but the labeling on this and the branding is just fucking gorgeous. I mean, I am an Edgar Allan Poe fan, um, so it and the color scheme speaks to me I and mean, it's black and purple and gold and it's just the raven on the top It's got this like metallic like look to it and it just I don't know I just think it looks fucking awesome and if we take a look around the sides of the jar We can see their logos there. We've got the hold volume texture and shine levels So very very high levels of hold volume and texture and very very low shine and then around the other side of the jar We have the directions and the ingredients Next up is scent, and for this particular scent, they did work with Tony Wynn over at White Label Company, and that's not like White Label Products, that's literally the name of his company, and he's known for making really awesome scents. And the smell on this really is really, really nice. Um, it's definitely cologne -y, but it's light and... I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. There are a lot of different notes in there, like there's a little sandalwood and a little citrus and a little cologne and like amber and I don't know I'll have all the notes listed in the description box below for you for those of you who really want to know exactly what goes into this scent but this is a cologne scent that I actually like I mean a lot of products that do cologne scents just fucking smell like axe which I hate but this is not one of those this is a really really nice scent um, it's inoffensive it doesn't clash with if you know if you wear cologne or something but at the same time it is strong enough at least for me that every once in a while throughout the day I will catch a little bit of a whiff of it and for me that's a nice thing because it smells really good and speaking of the fragrance, Mike did drop the news yesterday on his channel. If you didn't catch his live stream, I'll put a link to it up here in the card. Um, but they are, alongside the Matte Paste, they are releasing a pretty limited batch of a spray fragrance of the Nevermore scent, um, as well as some bar soap from Cellar Door. All right, now we'll take a brief look at the ingredients. So taking a look at the top of the list, we've got water in the first spot, so this is water-based, water-soluble. Uh, we've got kaolin clay next, then we've got some uh, castor oil and beeswax, microcrystalline wax. We've also got some bentonite clay in there. And then we have some other compounds. We've got the fragrance, and then at the bottom, we've got rice bran oil and cucumber extract. So for those of you interested, I will have the entire ingredients list in the description box down below. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, this is exactly the same formula as it was the first time around. They're just releasing it again. So everything about it is exactly the same. All right, next let's crack the jar open and we'll talk about texture and application. So when you first open this up, you will see something fairly liquidy inside. I mean, I'm gonna hold it up. It's not like super liquidy that it's gonna pour out immediately as I hold it up, but you can see that it is, you know, moving about. It's more, to me, it's like the texture of it is like a, a putty. Um, it's not super thick, obviously. So you can actually just kind of like dip your finger in to take some out if you'd like. Um, but as color wise, it just, it looks kind of like that grayish tone that we're used to seeing for, you know, clay and paste type products. So when you scoop this out of the jar and get it into your hands to start breaking it down, it is obviously it's quite soft. So it breaks down easily. It does have a fair amount of tack in the hands. And so you can kind of get an idea of how strong the hold will be. Um, it's definitely not you know, overly sticky to the point where like I'm afraid to put it in my hair or anything, but you definitely can feel the grippiness of it in your hands. So with that in mind, we're gonna jump over to the demo footage now so you guys can see exactly how that texture and grippiness uh, translates when it's applied to my hair, how the stuff styles and how it looks. 
All right, guys, so here we are with clean, dry hair. Uh, the only thing I've done to it is just used a bit of 25 spray before blow drying, which I do literally every time I shower because otherwise my hair would be frizzy as fuck. Um, so we're gonna go in with the Nevermore Matte Paste. Now, this is, you know, a fairly dry matte product, so I do recommend you start, you know, small and layer it in. So I'm just going in with, you know, basically enough to cover my fingertip. And uh, I'm just gonna emulsify it for a few seconds till it's clear, and here we go. Now, the instructions on the jar do say to work this into uh, blow-dried hair, um, and that's, you know, styling it to dry hair is always my preferred method anyway. Um, it does also say that for added volume, you could hit it with the blow dryer again after applying the product, but I just got a nice texturized haircut yesterday, so I think I'm doing okay in the volume department, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work the product in, and then that'll be enough for me. So, I'm happy to report that although this is quite a matte finish product, as you can see here, I'm having absolutely no tug and pull issues. Um, it applies very easily, and since it is that kind of liquidy, very creamy feel, um, I find it very easy to get a nice even coverage. So we're looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna just go in with a second small scoop here. So with the second scoop here, you can definitely feel the grippiness more than the first, of course, so it is a little bit sticky at this point. Um, very slight amount of tug and pull, which is nothing that I wouldn't expect from a high holding matte product. It's definitely nothing uncomfortable. It's not like I'm tearing hairs out or anything. Right, I'm gonna go in with just a third small scoop here. Just to finish up, really just kind of add a little bit of extra hold uh, for the full day. Tell you what, girl, I am obsessed with this dark red shadow root look right now. I'm loving it. All right, so this is definitely feeling like a solid, firm hold at this point. So that is gonna do it for me, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the day, and we'll see how it held up. All right, now, I've actually got this in my hair right now as well. It's been in here all day, but I also have this footage here that I wanna show you. This was after having it in for about 10 hours, a full day of work. So as you can see there, the volume and the texture and the finish really all stayed the same. It didn't get oily, it stayed nice and matte. The volume stayed in, the uh, lightness of the product definitely helped to keep it up all day. And I really, to be quite honest, I didn't really have to adjust it or anything. Um, it, you are, it is pliable, so you are able to run your fingers or comb through it, restyle if you'd like. Um, I will say that I had about halfway through the day, or like the early half of the day, I did have a little bit of that kind of tangly ends feeling that I get with, you know, drier, really matte products. But I did notice that that goes away later. So like later in the day, it actually kind of feels nicer. It, that tangliness goes away. It feels a little bit less dry. And either way, it's, I mean, that happens to me with matte products, so it's something that I'm very used to at this point, especially with matte pastes, because they tend to be drier than like matte finish clays, for instance. So really, it's nothing that I wasn't expecting. And to be honest, in, in comparing this with some other matte pastes that I've been using recently, this one is not nearly as dry feeling as some others that I've used, like the fucking Pacino's one was brutally dry. Um, the Apothecary 87 one, while I really love it, it is drier than this. So, you know, this one to me is just, it's a little less dry, it's a little more pliable, which for me as a person with drier hair is a nice feature. Now, as far as price, I don't exactly remember what I paid for this, but they did say it's gonna be priced exactly the same as it was last time. So I think it's like $19 US, um, you know, shipping on top of that, of course, uh, but they are also having it available at uh, a number of different distributors. So if you're in like Europe or the UK, they are gonna have some of this available like on Slick Hair Shop. So um, you won't have to pay any kind of astronomical um, overseas shipping fees to get it right from Lockhart. So you do have some options if you aren't located in the US. All right, guys, so overall thoughts on the Nevermore matte paste from Modern Man TV and the Lockharts. 
Honestly, I think it's a fucking solid matte paste. Um, you know, I've, I've been using a lot of different matte pastes lately. As I mentioned in a previous video, I think this is, I mean, obviously Nevermore came out like once already a, a while back. Um, but th like, this seems to be like the year of the matte paste. Like I've been seeing a lot of them. Places are coming out with new ones. Ones are being re-released or reformulated. So there's all kinds of matte pastes everywhere. So as you can imagine, as a reviewer, I've been trying out a shitload of matte pastes recently. So this was like the perfect time for me to review this and pick it back up and start using it again because you know, I have all these other matte pastes now that I can kind of contrast and compare with it and see how they measure up with one another and what I like about some and what I don't like about others or whatever. Um, so I'm sure the question on some of your minds is, how is this different from anti-gravity from the Lockhearts? And I think it's quite different. Um, the, I mean, yeah, they're both like clay-based kind of matte products. Um, but for me, Nevermore is, has a much stronger hold. I really, with anti-gravity, I don't get like any hold at all. Um, I don't, I just don't, it just, that's how it just works for me. Anti-gravity also has some, I think, silicones and some stuff in the ingredients list that are meant to plump your hair and make it thicker, um, which for me is, was kind of a problem. Like it made it too thick and really tangly. Nevermore does not have that stuff, so I don't have nearly as much of that, you know, dry or too full tangly feeling um and i feel like this is less dry as well the anti-gravity is like super dry matte finish which for some people is great but for me it was too damn dry and while this is matte and it is fairly dry um i don't think it's as dry and this for me stays much more pliable and it just works better for my hair type in general but yeah, man, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I fucking love the packaging. The uh, scent is quite nice. And yeah, overall, it's just, it's a nice matte paste. It's pretty bitchin'. And I feel like, I don't know, should we have like a stamp now? Like the Jeffree Star seal of approval, but it's just, just like bitchin', like a stamp. I don't know, <laughs> whatever. That's kind of silly. But yeah, um, Nevermore, it's, it's a good matte paste. So I, you know, if you're in the market for a matte paste that is different, um, definitely check it out and get one before they're gone. So that about does it for today's review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I've got lots more exciting product stuff coming up soon too. I've actually got right here, got a couple samples. I'm doing a, I'm testing some products, some possible upcoming products from Steven the Salon guy. So I'm going to be doing a video on those actually, um, cause I've never done a video where we kind of talk about products that are in the testing phase. So I think that'll be pretty cool. And I've also got just a massive queue of other stuff to get done. So lots and lots of content coming your way. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that upcoming stuff. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching and we'll see you at the next one.